James was asking, I wonder if it's possible for a microcontroller to create a WPA3 access point. So this is a really good question. I wasn't sure. So I spent some time before the, the stream looking this up. Now we're coming out very soon, I believe, if it, we haven't already, with a piece on WPA3 and the different ways that you can attack it. Um, I already have a couple of pieces on this, but basically you can do some things like time out uh, the router so it can't connect anymore. And I wanted to see whether or not it's actually possible on some of these newer microcontrollers to do this. So I took a look at the documentation, which is um, you know pretty pretty decent uh, from Espressif. And I wanted to see if some of these popular microcontrollers could actually do it. And the answer seems to be yes. Support for WPA3 personal. Now this is for an ESP32 S3, I believe. Um, and that's what I'm typically working with right now. I guess I can check it for other devices. Um, yeah, okay. So even the ESP32 S2 supports uh, WPA3 personal. So that's really interesting. Um, there's also some documentation on Arduino, uh, or sorry, some uh, some back and forth on Arduino saying that somebody could not connect to WPA3 with the ESP32 S, uh, uh, actually, yeah, no, the ESP32 and then later on, um, they didn't really get much help. Um, and they just came back and said, oops, it's case sensitive. Um, so it seems as though uh, it will connect to WPA3. And it also seems as though it's possible to create a WPA3 soft access point. So I am going to actually try this. Um, I don't know if this is possible with CircuitPython. I might have to try Arduino. And I've been having um, some problems. OK, so here we go. Um, enterprise only in station mode. That's interesting. So I should have, uh, huh. Yep. Okay. So I don't see anything here that says that it only, for example, supports it in, um, station mode. So this all looks like pretty good news. So, um, to answer your question, James, if you did want to poke around and start experimenting with WPA3, and you wanted to do it without having to buy like a fancy WPA3 router, um, this seems like a way that you might be able to take a stab at messing with the protocol and maybe be able to break something. So um, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty, yes, uh, DJ Chateau. Uh, uh, ESP32 docs are pretty comprehensive, if not very dry. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm pretty impressed by how easy it was to work with this uh, and, and get an answer almost immediately. Um, so yeah, the, the only question is whether or not it's easy to do with Arduino, because obviously the documentation for um, the ESP32 here is via Espressif, and it's an e uh, ESP IDF pro programming guide. So often Arduino will act as a wrapper for this, so it's a pretty good indication that if it is supported in Espressif IDF, and it's been supported for a while, that it will also be supported in Arduino IDE. But you just got to be careful because every once in a while, it might look like it's so available, but you may have to then learn Espressif IDF in order to actually use that particular feature.